Hey guys, I'm Getsu134 here, bringing you a new My Hero Academia review. Um, also, a quick update. I know I, I said I would do DuckTales, but I think because I've missed a couple episodes and it's it's been kind of hard for me to do the show recently, I think for the best I just stick with My Hero Academia and build for now. Maybe if I, if I could get some more downtime, I will try to do other shows, but I think <clears throat> for the foreseeable future, I'm going to stick to just these two. Um, I'll do movies, of course, still, um, when I get to them, but we will take it from there. All right, so, this episode is reviewing My Hero Academia, Season 3, Episode 6. Yes, Episode 6. In, uh, in this episode, uh, we get, uh, the rescue of... Todoroki from uh, Moonfish, or of Todoroki Maku from Moonfish, where, as well as the um, the focusing at all, as well as the fight between Togata and uh, Uraka and Siu, and the introduction of Mr. Compress. <clears throat> um, so yeah, all the, all the, I have to give credit to, uh, to the, to the, whoever animates this, because it all looks exactly like it did in the manga. I, I loved the look of Dark Shadow going berserk, um, in his, his, like, beginning, uh, form of, uh, his Abyssal Cloak that he would eventually get that lets him more or less be protected from, from harm. Uh, <clears throat> but here it's, it's going berserk because of his rage at, uh, Moonfish cutting off one of, uh, Shoji's duple arms. Um, <clears throat> although, uh, yeah. I don't know why he completely went berserk. It was it was just one of the duplicate arms, so it's not like Shoji can't grow it back. But you know. Tokoyami, I, probably a lot of it was just Tokoyami's own, as he says, childish aggression. Probably mostly brought on by like the darkness that he was in. Um, <clears throat> you know, I liked I liked how quickly he just. Did moon vision was it was a it was pretty awesome, especially Baco being like, we'll save him, but first let let let's let this thing deal with uh with Moonfish. That was probably one of the most awesome things I ever saw Baco go do in this show. It's probably my favorite. It, my probably my, one of the reasons why I started to really like Baco in the manga. Um, this and his fight with Uraraka. Um, what else? Uh. I really liked uh I really like I really like the voice actress for Togata. Um she's really only done a little bit here and there. This is the first episode that or the first part the first part of the story where uh Togata does a lot of stuff. And I think she gets uh, Togata down really well, giving her like this neutral voice whenever she's just doing her job, but when she's <sighs> whenever she's excited about things. Um, she gets really peppy and happy. She, I, I, I actually think she's probably one of the better Yandere characters I've seen in anime in a while. Um, only because it seems like she's willing to, she's able to do her job without completely losing it. Um, I really like that. I liked, I liked the voice actor they got for Com uh, Mr. Compressed too. Um, I think it was a really cool, uh, sounding voice. They, they definitely gave him the voice of someone who would, who would, be an entertainer um but yeah no it, it does a lot there's a lot that happens and it's mostly just short little bits um these are fights that really only happen for a few minutes um we get to see uh probably one of the better aoyama uh, moments this is i think where I, I i saw that aoyama could have uh could have some character outside just being the the, the shiny goofball that he normally is um and i think it sets up for Aoyama's character development that uh, goes further down the line. Um, 
Oh, I really liked uh, the scene with uh, Momo and uh, the guy who can stick stuff, uh, few stuff together. Um, and their uh, short, short moment uh, running from the Nomu. Uh, we all see that uh, where uh, Jiro and uh, Toru were. Um, they had been knocked out by get by a uh, mustard's gas, um, and now Young was carrying them back to camp. I actually, I actually forgot that that was what happened. That they had been knocked out, and uh, Momo made them gas masks so that they could recover faster. And uh, in case that it was it was super poisonous, they are at least not going to get full of poison. <sighs> <sighs> But I, I really enjoyed that. Um, that that was I actually really like that Nomu. That's probably my favorite Nomu. I mean, granted, most of the Nomu look pretty generic looking. Or, well, I mean, not generic, but they all look like pretty much like regular Nomu. But I like that he could. He had like multiple arms. It was really cool. Um, but yeah, um, it's a, it's a good episode. It, there's not really much to say because it's it's more or less just about Midoriya Shoji. Tokoyami and Todoroki finding Siu and uh, Ochako and working together to try and rescue Bakugo and of course Compress steals him and Tokoyami away uh, using his compression technique um, which we'll get explained in the next episode so I'm not going to spoil it for people um, but I, I really like Mr. Compress's quirk and I like his I like his outfit I, I think he's cool um Oh, this show, this actually does go in uh, gives gives his, uh, Moonfish's backstory where he was a death row inmate that I guess the League of Villains busted out or he busted out on his own. Um, he was on death row for obviously being a psychopath. <laughs> um, and we get a little bit more of uh, <clears throat> the villain League of Villains ideology, um, particularly with Compress, where he thinks that. Um, <clears throat> Hero society is stifling for kids because like they have to they have to live in a world based on ideals. Where you know if your if your ideals <clears throat> don't match up with hero society, you're considered a villain, which I don't think is completely true. You know, a lot of these villains just kill indiscriminately for fun. You know, or or doing so be, or killing people because they think that you kill people to fix society, which is a no no. But then again, I'm I'm probably more of a hero than most of the most of the villains in this show. But you know, so yeah. Um, <clears throat> but like I said, it's mostly just the uh, Bakugo protection unit part, <laughs> as I as I like to call their team. Um, I think it was an interesting thing, but otherwise. You know, it's it's very much just you know set up for the uh, set up for the. I keep getting distracted by Facebook. I shouldn't have Facebook on when I'm doing this. Um, <clears throat> but you know, like uh, especially because it's only like a short a short period, and you know they they try to rescue Bakugo, and well, if you've seen the manga, you know what happens. Um, but yeah, no, I, it's still, once again, it's very much very similar to the manga. Um, uh, particularly, um, particularly, like, the fights are very accurate. Um, like, <clears throat> Uraraka and, uh, Siu's fight against Takata is very accurate in how they get cut up and how eventually, uh, Takata steals Uraraka's blood and makes a run for it. <clears throat> Um, I actually really, really, um, actually really liked the, the Uraraka and Siu's fight with, uh, Togata. I feel bad for Uraraka because I know she, she blames herself for the, um, the, uh, the, her escape because she got distracted because of her crush on Deku, or Midoriya, um, and so she, uh, that's going to be a part of her character stuff for a while. <clears throat> um, I really liked, uh, <clears throat> I really liked just how Sue didn't like it that, um, uh, that Uraraka, um, 
Or not uh, that Sue didn't like that Togato was calling her Sue because only her friends call her that. <coughs> and and Togato not getting it. Oh, we're friends. Now. That's like I know I shouldn't laugh, but like that was so like well timed, and it made me it, ma it makes me chuckle every time I see her do that. Like oh, we're friends now, and, and I love Togato like getting her crush on Midoriya because he's all beat up and covered in his own blood from muscular beating the crap out of him. <clears throat> Uh, and I actually really liked uh, at the ending when, like, Shoji, Todoroki, and Midoriya flatten and compress into the ground after they get thrown by Uraraka and uh, Siu using uh, the combination of their quirks. I really, really, I really love at the end when, like, Dobby and Twice are like, oh no, heroes have came, have come. And Togata does, like, the... Does like the Sundari or the Yandari like holding her their face in their hands like all excited because Midoriya showed up? Oh, that was too funny. Like like that. Like I I don't like I don't think God is scary and dangerous, but at the same time she's so funny. I, I find her hilarious in her in her weird adorability. But uh, yeah, so I I think all in all I think it's a good episode. It's definitely it's definitely one of the better episodes of the uh, of the season. Season and well, it's mostly just a setup episode for for the next episode, and for stuff for the conflict where we, and where where we get more of the Vi League of Villains' plans for Bakugo. You know, it, it it it's it's pretty it's pretty simple. It's mostly just uh, setup snippets for uh, the next episode. But otherwise, that's not a bad thing. And we did get some pretty cool scenes out of it, particularly the fight between. Tagata and Uraraka and Siu and the awesome moment of Dark Shadow beating the crap out of Moonfish. Um, but yeah, um, otherwise, guys, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. Uh, all in all, I think it's a good episode, and it's definitely a must-see for the season. And I look forward to seeing you guys at the next one. But until then, you guys will have to be, have to deal with a new episode of Kamen Rider Build. Um, I'll be watching that, uh, hopefully tomorrow, if I can find a decent... Um, dub of it or find a decent sub of it um if not i'm sure i will be able to get to it friday but it's going to be uh in the afternoon as i have work in the morning that, that morning uh but anyways guys that's going to be it for um this vlog i'm sorry it's a little short but there's not much to say i i, I don't like making these vlogs be like super long unless i have a lot to say um but you guys know this by now i've been doing this I think almost a year probably more um but anyways guys that's gonna be it for uh my my hero academia vlog and i will catch you all on the next one until then guys take care